everybody and welcome back to Teens, Tweens, and In-Betweens. And we are going to be doing a fun, very simple, very easy craft that you can probably do with items that you have at your house already. The only two things you're going to need other than a photo are um, a CD case. I have taken mine apart and I will talk to you guys about that in a moment, as well as some washi tape or scotch tape. Um, you could use other tapes. You could also use um, photo corners, so they make like for scrapbooking little corners, you can use those. Um, you really just want to think about what you're putting in this frame and that will help you decide kind of the tape or adhesion that you want to use to attach your photo. But like I said, this is going to be a very quick and very simple craft. I saw this, I want to say on Pinterest somewhere and I was like that's so cute and that's such a great way to reuse things because as we approach November if I remember correctly November is um, the month that is like recycling month or at least like national recycling day so I was kind of looking for those and when I found this I was like oh that's such an easy idea for teens so here we are <laughs> um, this CD case is a CD that I'll be honest, I have multiple copies of the CD, so I decided that it was perfect to sacrifice. You may find that you have a CD case for either a CD that is broken, um, perhaps your family, much like mine, used to burn their own copies of um, like mixtapes kind of things, which, um, you know, think about copyright guys, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have done that or your parents have um, old CDRs, CDRWs that uh, they're happy to let you sacrifice for this craft. But the main thing that you have to be able to do is take your CD case apart. So um, a CD case is generally going to come in a couple of sections. Um, this one here, we've got the top and the bottom here. And I'm going to reattach them because I unattached them to be able to take this middle part out. And you also have this middle part. So in the case of this CD case, <laughs> which in my opinion is kind of the very common uh, style. You're not gonna be able to see that. Oh no, maybe, maybe if I block, if I take that out. Oh, you can kind of see it, but uh, because this is clear, <laughs> it's really hard to see, but right, let's see if I can get it to focus at all. It's so confused. My camera's like, what are you doing? So there are, even though you cannot see them, there are in fact holes in the CD case. So um, in the CD case, there are a couple of holes here that this guy was stuck into. So this one here has a couple of pegs. And again, it's gonna be really, really hard to see them, but um, there are a couple of pegs here as well as over here and then a gun on the other side. So I just basically used my nail, but you could use a credit card, a gift card, a butter knife, the end, the options are really endless for how you can get this out of there, but you do want to do that. So now that I've done that, we have our empty CD case. And this is essentially the way that you, your frame can work. You can either go like this, or um, you could do a double frame like you know this and hang it up on a wall. Um, it's so hard to show that. You could hang it like this too, where you've got a couple of spots for photos, but the main one that I saw uses it like this. So then all you're going to do is, say you have your picture here, is you're going to take your washi tape and essentially frame out your picture. For any of you guys who are also interested in bullet journaling, um, you could certainly also use this technique in your bullet journal to tape photos, um, Polaroids or otherwise, in there, but I will be very honest, you wanna be careful if you are using this for photographs. If it is not acid free, it will eventually hurt your photos. So um, I have friends that collect trading cards for various things and like with those or magic cards or anything like that, you do need to make sure that you are using something that is acid free. So you can see here, then you can put your photo right in there. You could do another one over here and make for a really cool picture frame. It's very simple. You could also even, if you wanted to be really cool and really extra, um, but you like the way the washi tape looks, is you could do the photo corners behind it and put your photo so it's facing this way, but it's attached on the back, 
and then you could easily replace it without moving the washi tape. You could also use an X-Acto knife or a knife of some kind to cut these off so it makes it a nice straight edge. Um, I'm trying to think what else you could do. You could use stickers to decorate it. I mean, this is such a simple craft, but it looks really, really cool. And like I said, you can hang it on your wall. So if you wanted to have a cool picture frame, but you don't want to just like have your pictures on the wall, you could do something like this and then use, um, what are they called? Command strips to stick it onto your wall and hang it up like this too. And like I said, you could do two, or again, you can have it angled like this. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's craft. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the library or uh, shoot us an email at Mc, uh, mckinley at mclib.org and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Also, let's appreciate how pretty and glittery this tape is. This isn't a tape I use for my journal. This is just when I have extra, but it's so pretty on camera. It's so glittery. <laughs> All right, guys, see you next time. Bye.